Hi guys, today I'm going to be chatting all about some holiday options at Sephora. It is a very exciting time of year, but also a daunting, whether you're gifting to yourself or to somebody else, figuring out what gift sets are worth it, what were thrown together and are just kind of crappy. So I thought I would go through and show you some options that are available and give you some mini reviews. Keep in mind on December 2nd, you should be seeing an email for 15, 20 or $25 off your purchase of I think $50, depending on your status at Sephora so that will help take down the price of any goodies that you want to pick up. As of right now this is all in stock but if you can't find it online be sure to go look in store and ask somebody there because the holiday gift sets come and go so quickly but let's get started. So I'm wearing a glittery gold shirt for a reason because like half the things I'm showing you are gold and sparkly and I thought I sh too should match them. This guy is the Sephora Collection Glitter Happy Brush Set. Whoever gave this to you at Christmas, wouldn't they just have your heart forever, no matter what they did to you? Like, this is just so pretty. It is a clear glitter kind of setup here, very sturdy, with a ton of gold glitter suspended in there. You're getting six different brushes, all very soft, great quality. Um, I do feel like, however, these two brushes, one of them could have been switched out for like a fluffier crease brush. I think that that's missing in there. They're both kind of pin pinched and detailed, but either way, I think that this set is just so pretty glitter sparkly gold I've got a few lip options that I want to mention that aren't exactly like holiday sets but I think that they would make amazing gifts for any lipstick lover in your life this guy is from the YSL holiday collection and YSL on a like regular day on a Tuesday in March is still looking gorgeous but this one is extra sparkly super beautiful it's in the shade 52 it's one of their um, rouge pure couture lipsticks and not only is the outside gorgeous but it's actually embossed with stars on the lipstick tube itself making it even more special so I think that if there is somebody in your life who you know is a total lipstick junkie whether they're gonna wear it all the time or just keep it on their vanity like I probably will I think that they would be very pleased to see this also, Kat Von D has released some of her studded kiss lipsticks in a limited edition package. Generally, they're, they're in kind of like that black studded kiss packaging, but this one is in a more kind of a chromey sort of package, and I think that this is gorgeous. This one is in the shade Mother, which I know is a very popular shade in her Everlasting Liquid Lipstick line. So I actually never tried this. Super gorgeous. I get why everybody likes it. It's kind of like a berry rosy version of Lolita, which is like my absolute ride or die favorite lipstick. And I think that like, I kind of wish that it always came in this packaging because I think it just looks so sleek and pretty. Another great lip option for anyone lippy obsessed in your household or life are these Giorgio Armani ecstasy lacquers and I think that these are super special very gorgeous and I love the idea of giving a gift to somebody that they would never go out and purchase for themselves because going out and spending you know like $40 on a like lipstick a lip lacquer is up there so it's really nice if you have the ability to uh, gift it to somebody then they're just gonna be so appreciative and so happy and they'll you know feel so good when they pull it out of their purse to use it um, I've got three different shades here so the first one is 508 it's kind Kind of like a pinky color with a golden reflect in there very gorgeous not chunky at all it's barely even a shimmer it's just like just like a whisper of gold in there my personal favorite is 203 this is like a really rich chocolatey brown with gold in there and then there's also a lighter one which is a little bit too light for me this one is more of like a lilac -y pink these can be applied very thin to the lips or you can really layer it up for more full color super super glossy by no means are these transfer proof like crazy glossy but they look so good and so juicy on the lips recently the estate edit released two different palettes they are called the gritty and glow palette I have the glow here I'm truly hoping they sell these separately it is $70 for the pair which I think is a fair price because you're getting technically two palettes in there also side note why would you ever call an eyeshadow palette gritty I don't get it but anyways I have the glow and I love this I'm wearing it as my highlight today I've also got another shade on my eyelids Technically, it's called like a face palette. I would definitely more so consider this a highlighter palette. These two are kind of more true highlighter colors. These ones are more leaning blush and then these ones are leaning blonde bronzer, but the actual texture all feel very highlightery, super smooth, buttery, shimmery, no glitter in here. And I just think that this is so gorgeous. You could buy the two of them, split it up between friends, keep them both for yourself, whatever you want to do with it. But I really like these. And something that I didn't realize through watching videos and looking up swatches, 
is that although it is glitter, it's not the kind of glitter that's going to come off on your hand, which I love because we all know glitter is the herpes of the craft world. So if you get glitter on something, it's on your makeup desk, like it's just going to be there forever. You're going to have like a flick on your face and you're not going to know it's going to be there all day. But that is not the case with this packaging. I think it is so gorgeous. Um, and when you get the eye palette, they're actually magnetic together, super sleek, and you get a nice big mirror in here as well. Also on my eyes today is this big guy from Tarte. They always do some huge holiday releases and this one includes a ton of different eyeshadows in here. You get four face products, a blush, highlight, and two bronzers. One has shimmer in it. And then under this tab here is like a little bit of a surprise. You get their Tartist mascara, the So Fine liner, and then one of their lip glosses. Um, I like this. I can't say that I'm absolutely obsessed with it. My one problem with Tarte when they release these palettes is that I find the face products are always quite muted. So the highlighter is nice in here. The bronzers I can make work. The blush is far too light for me. It's something maybe I'd throw in the crease of my eye. But if you're any bit deeper than me, I don't think that the face products are going to be usable. If you have a fair skin tone, I think they'll work, they'll work for you nicely. As for the eyeshadow quality, I would give it like an 80%. I think that they, some of them could be a little bit better. Some of the metallics will swatch people beautifully but when you go to put it on your eyes they don't really show up and will leave a little bit of glitter but the mattes are really nice I've been using that burgundy shade that is in there a ton and uh, I love the Tardis mascara that's in there although the mini is like this weird kind of like cheap packaging that's not as nice as like a regular deluxe size sample but the actual mascara is nice the so fine liner is great truly very fine and then the lip gloss is a little bit light for my skin tone but something that I can make work with a lip liner Speaking of Tarte lip liners, I have one of their lippy sets. You get five of their lip liners in here and then five of their lip paints. These are the older formula. I know they've come out with a quick drying formula more recently. Oh baby, these lip liners. I don't think I've ever tried lip liners so bad in my entire life from any brand. They are so, so dry. They crack off. They feel horrible on the lips. I don't know if it's just these ones, if it's the mini, if the sit ha set has been like sitting around from like Christmas 2015, but either way, like basically unusable in my opinion. Do let me know if you've tried them before, if you tried the full size, but the actual lip paints themselves, I do really like. You get a nice selection in here, um, two kind of more neutrally shades. You get a deeper berry, a red, and then a more vampy shade. The only one I had any trouble with was the vampy shade. It did apply a little bit patchy. It's got a very smooth, moussey texture that goes on matte, so it's not going to be like a liquid to matte. It basically goes on matte. They're not totally transfer proof, but I think that makes them a little bit more comfortable to wear and they've got a nice minty scent. That being said, I don't know that I can totally recommend this set because of the lip liners. The little lippies are really nice, but I would rather honestly just get someone like two of the full size ones that I know that they're going to like, or they might actually have another set that doesn't have lip liners in it. I'm not totally sure, um, but the lip liners were just such a fail. Somebody that you can always count on to kill the lip game, especially around the holiday season, I think they make some very cute, affordable gift sets, is Bite Beauty. I'm actually wearing that on my lips today. These are their duos. You would have seen that I picked one of these up during the Sephora VIB sale. These would make amazing stocking stuffers for Secret Santa. They're like 17 bucks. They are a little bit smaller than I was look than I was thinking when I was looking at them online. But that being said, like who finishes a lipstick? And I think that you could totally tie a string on this put it up on your Christmas tree. Like that is a world that I want to live in with Bite Beauty duos on my tree. I'm wearing the shade Sour Cherry today, which is a gorgeous red, and I put the gold top coat over it. Then you can also get the Fig shade, which is a little bit more neutral with a rose gold top coat. The rose gold is so pretty. And then you've also got Opal, which is an opalescent sh shade top coat with Jam, a deeper berry. Also in my VIB haul, you would have seen that I picked up Pepper and Bronze. Again, gorgeous. I feel like the metallic top coats could be a little bit smoother like they don't show up as pigmented as I would like I think it's something that you may need to go in with a lip brush or maybe put like the red around and then go in and put the gold over I don't feel like the uh, top coat is smooth enough to go over the super creamy lipstick but that being said I think that there are lots of fun if you have anybody in your life who loves to play around with lipstick already has a ton and you're like what the hell do I get them I think that this could be an awesome option on the other side of it if you know somebody or yourself who you don't really want to play around with like metallic top coats that seems like a little bit much or something that you just truly would never reach for this set is adorable it's 
perfect. It's the, oh, exactly. It's the Perfect Bite Amuse Bouche Lipstick Set. You get four minis in here, Fig, Pepper, which is a favorite of mine, Honeycomb, and Nori. So these are all kind of like nudie pink shades. Nori is a little bit deeper, so something that you could add in, mix and match, or wear on your own if you want to feel a little bit more vampy. The set is so cute. It comes with this gold sleeve, and then also in this adorable red tin that could totally be used again. Lastly from Bite Beauty is their discovery set. So basically this is kind of like a, here, you've never tried Bite Beauty before. Here are some of like their most popular colors, most popular formulas, um, including their agave lip mask, which of course is like the holy grail product that Bite Beauty makes. Super thick, feels so good and moisturizing on the lips. Great to wear at night if you're gonna be out a ton in the day when it's like dry and cold from the winter. This is their lip liner, which is like a primer lip liner, one of those like feather, helping not to like anti-feather lip liners that's clear. You're also getting a full size of their matte lip crayon in the shade Lychee, I think it is. It's kind of like a pinky, very wearable shade. And then you're also getting Beetroot, which looks like Beets, a gorgeous shade that can be worn like a stain. It can be built up almost like MAC Rebel in the sense that it's just like so transformative depending on like how you put it on, how long you've been wearing it. It always looks good and leaves like a gorgeous stain on your lips. And again, it comes in this great red tin. We have been chatting about a lot of lippies. So these are the last ones that I have to mention. They are from Smashbox for Holiday. I love Smashbox Holiday collection this year. I think the packaging is great. As much as I love like glittery gold, I think that this is super unique. You can totally reuse this as well. So it feels a little bit lace less wasteful around the holiday season. You get five different lip glosses in here. These two are quite shimmery. They will leave shimmer on your lips after the color wears away. Nothing that feels super uncomfortable, but you've got a great nude shade, something that's a little bit more pink. This one here is a creamy red with a slight shimmer in it, but much less than it's in the first two. And then you get an orangey shade, which I love, and then a more lavender-y kind of lilac shade. Those are both pure cream, no shimmer in there. I feel like they have a really nice amount of pigment, but at the same time, they're a true lip gloss. So it's not like a liquefied lipstick that just doesn't dry down matte. There's not a ton of pigment in there because I don't love super, super pigmented lip glosses unless they're more on the nude, nude side. But I think that this is a really nice set. You get a nice mixture of shades in here. You could easily break it up into gift sets for different friends depending on what people like. And I just love the ability to reuse this container. For the false lash addict in your life, this is an awesome option. It's from House of Lashes, which is now available at Sephora. It's their holiday gem set. So in here, you're getting the Seductress Lashes, two of their lash glues, one in a clear and then one in a dark shade. Then you're also getting this gold case. So as you may know, I suck at wearing lashes. Like I'm so bad at it. If anybody like wants to come over and give me a lesson, you're more than welcome to. But I know the times that I have, I've like left the lashes like somewhere around my house and like you think it's a spider the next day. This will prevent that. It'll also make sure that you're taking good care of your lashes and you have it somewhere to put them. After you've used them, there's a few different um, slots in there to keep them. As well, I saw that they've got this huge like lash kind of wardrobe booklet that my friend talked about in her holiday video um, about what's available at Sephora and a few other stores I think. I will link to her video down below but I think that this would just make the most gorgeous gift and it'll look so nice on your vanity as well. From Atelier Cologne they've released a great kind of set of I wouldn't even call it a sampler set because it's just a, such a nice collection of their roller balls. You get six different scents in here. Some are musky, some more floral, some more fruity. So a little something for everybody depending on if you want to give it to one person, split it up for a bunch of people and again it's coming in a really nice case. These are super special. If you know anybody who really enjoys perfume, these are just so well made, made in France, one of the more high-end brands. So it's a really nice way to get to try it out. If you didn't really want to shell out the big bucks to purchase one of them, this way you'll get to try a whole bunch. Sephora has a bunch of skincare options too, so if you know someone well enough and know their skin type, that is a great way to gift somebody as well because a lot of the time people may not splurge on skincare and that way you can do it for them. They can find something new that they know they like from Egg Cream Mask, which these are all made in Korea. Uh, this is their Too Cool for School recipe of masks, which I think is adorable. Looks like a recipe book with all these little tabs here on the side. Two for hydrating, two for pore tightening, and two for firming. This retails for $28 American and $35 Canadian. Lastly, I wanna chat about a few of their gorgeous makeup bags that are available. Um, I've mentioned a few times splitting up gift sets, giving things to friends, and instead of putting it in a gift bag, if you want, you can always choose 
choose to go with a little makeup bag. So this one is a Sephora brand one. It's got an S on it here for Samantha. You can of course pick one up for a friend. I want to mention that because that way you know it's not S for Sephora. And the most adorable thing on it is that the closure is like a little lipstick bullet. So super special. They've also got some gorgeous gold ones. This one says baby it's a bold outside and then another bold themed one. This one is great. Nice and big too. It's the glitter and gold glitter gold and everything bold and lastly for me when I travel this is going to be so good it's got a great kind of hook on it my only issue is it does sort of have that glitter that comes off but I think it will um, after using it a few times it will stop shedding its glitter but it's got a, a hanger on here a nice mesh compartment place for your brushes and this little flap actually that will protect your brushes from um, getting dirty or getting anything else dirty and then also you've got another kind of mesh pouch here I like that it's not too small of compartments because you can kind of choose what you want to go into each side um, but this is really nice and then there's also the accompanying um, matching kind of little wallet in here which has these gold brushes in here too so these are sold separately so you could either like purchase two purchase one of them depending on what you need um, but again another great set of gold brushes so there you have it. That is a selection of some of the items that are available at Sephora right now. It's probably like 10% of them because there are so many things, but hopefully I've helped you narrow it down in your holiday shopping and be sure to check out your email on December 2nd to save a little extra at Sephora and don't forget to use your Ebates. You will get cash back. I will link to them down below. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.